trial of Chris Zacco stepped out of the courtroom today to give the jury a look at two critical scenes. Now the place where prosecutors believe Kelly Dwyer was killed and where her body was dumped. Ben Jordan live at the courthouse with the latest. Steve and Carol, the morning started in the courthouse with opening statements. Right after that, the jury was shuttled over to Zacco's old apartment to take a look inside. Before jurors take their seats to hear evidence presented in trial, a visit to where prosecutors believe Chris Zacco killed Kelly Dwyer allows them to see it for themselves. They came home to his apartment, as we see in the video. Zacco's high-rise apartment was on Milwaukee's east side. TV cameras were allowed to go inside the lobby of the building, but not up to the 18th floor unit with the jury. That's where Zacco is accused of strangling and suffocating Dwyer to death five years ago. Prosecutor Sarah Hill says Milwaukee police got a search warrant to bring a dog trained to detect human remains. She alerts inside of a hallway bathroom that appears to have been cleaned. He did not prevent them from going into any room or area of his apartment. Zacco's defense attorney Rebecca Coffey tells the jury the state's evidence doesn't provide proof beyond reasonable doubt. Not one of the government's witnesses will tell you that they saw Mr. Zacco cause Kelly Dwyer's death. Dwyer's body wasn't found until 19 months later in rural Jefferson County. The jury also made a trip to see the exact location marked with orange cones not far off the street. A number of people were called to testify this afternoon, including Dwyer's mother, who recalled watching surveillance video with Zocker, Zocco just days after she went missing. Reporting live at the Public Safety Building, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4.